Hello, in this video we're going to talk about using Google Calendar by itself as a to-do list. About a year ago, I made a video how to integrate Google Calendar and Todoist, and I was using Todoist. Todoist works really well, and there's a lot of other ones like Trello out there that I've used and continue to use off and on. But the thing that I've found works really, really well and has just exploded my ability to be productive throughout the day and also not burn myself out too much is using Google Calendar by itself and just using the events as to-do list tasks. And I'll show you here, I'll just pop right over here to my Google Calendar, probably have to blur out a few things, but I have basically every second of my day for this coming week schedule. Obviously things do not always work out exactly the way that I have them planned, and sometimes I get random motivation to film a video like this. I've been meaning to film this video for a really long time and just keep putting it off. So all of a sudden I have this motivation to do it just because the calendar has been working so well for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'll hop right over here onto my calendar and what's cool about this is it allows me to just move things around. For the longest time I was looking for a calendar that I could just click and drag something to the next day. I could extend it, show me exactly how much time something was gonna take, how much time out of my day, kind of to get a more realistic picture of how much I could do in a day. Because if you're anything like I was, you tend to overpack your schedule and that can be a real problem because you end up scheduling more than what is realistic and then you end up getting yourself burned out. Now, whenever you schedule with Google Calendar, you can really do it in a way that's using up your day and you can say, okay, I have this much time. The minimum I've realistically got it to do for each event is about a half an hour. What I've realized is that it's not really worth it to put tasks that are shorter than a half hour, so I just lump them together as one little event, like clean the house, or reorganize calendar, or respond to messages, instead of saying respond to this message, respond to this message. That, basically, that helps me from going overboard and being too micromanaged uh, on myself, keeping it to those half hour increments. So, literally all I'm doing here is, I'll show you exactly how I create a new event, is just clicking and dragging on the section that I want, to use and I'll say film calendar video and I have this all color coded so for me dark green is marketing anything that's kind of personal branding or specifically marketing for my uh, marketing business marketing for my marketing business I know it's super meta if you'll see there's stuff that's kind of in pink that stuff is the things that are work things that I'm getting paid for right now I have I took a day job for a little bit but also in that is just stuff like this that's freelance jobs and even here I just have sections blocked off to work on freelance work. So you can obviously color code it any way you want and how you do this then I'm gonna make that shorter and I'll make this one a little bit shorter and move that down and see how easy that is to click that and move that around. And let's say I was like, oh, I need to do this another day. I could you know, jump over here and put it here and say, I don't really care about hanging out with Jill that day and just delete that and maybe make that longer, give myself some more time for that, whatever it is. So you can see here just how that, how easy that is to click and move things around. The way that I use it, I use it to look. I even schedule my sleep in here so I get, I get an idea and I can, it lets you look at how your days are planned out in a way that you can really get a good overview of, okay, I have these big eight hour chunks of sleep and I know that I need to get that much sleep, so I'm not gonna schedule a bunch of stuff in the morning that is gonna cut into my sleep time. I even make sure I schedule in my morning routine, I'm scheduling in my lunches. So this is really easy to set up. Let's go ahead and make a new calendar, create a new calendar, and recall this YouTube video, whatever. And obviously you need a Google account for this. There, we have the YouTube video. So over here on the left, it allows you to check different calendars on and off. I have some stuff from my previous job that is still on here. But let's turn this calendar off and we'll just use this YouTube video calendar. So you have a totally blank calendar. Now the cool thing is this works both on your phone and laptop uh, or desktop. No matter what kind of phone you're using, you can download the calendar app uh, and you can download and you can always come to calendar.google.com and I just bookmark this and it's like one of the pages that I always have up so I can jump over there and say, am I on task? Am I working on the right things? And I kind of, like I said, really micromanage my day. So let's say we're gonna just add, we're just gonna add sleeping from midnight to 8 a.m. to get a good solid eight hours of sleep. Uh, what I do is I take a screenshot of this and with Photoshop, but you can do, use any, image editor, I go here and I color code and I make myself a little cheat sheet and I'll print that out for the first couple weeks that I'm using the calendar. Like I just changed mine over so I'm using that again. That allows you to really get used to your own color coding system and let's go ahead and say 
morning routine. It's really important to schedule time for you know, your meditation, your coffee, your breakfast, your food, your exercise, whatever, because otherwise it's just not gonna happen uh, because you get so much in the day. And then let's say I have an hour commute, I'll put that in too, because again, that's something that I found if I don't put that directly in my schedule, then I will not, I'll, I'll not be able to keep track of everything consistently and accurately. And then let's just put this in for someone that has, you know, like a regular work day that starts at 10 p.m., 10 a.m. for some reason, most people don't have that. But let's say you did and you're working from 10 to six and that's your day job. We'll make that pink like my color code and then commute home. This sounds like it sucks, <laughs> but people, I, I did this for a while. This was, let's say we get an hour for lunch in there. I'll put the lunch in. You can overlap things. Uh, and then, like I said, you can easily move it around. Now what's really cool, let's say in the evening, this is like family time. Uh, we'll put that as that. And then let's say we're gonna get a good two hours of writing my novel. I don't know, like whatever your calendar, obviously, and we'll make those green because that motivates me, the green. And then we'll put evening routine. So that's for me, like drinking tea, reading a book, things that are important for me to be able to sleep well, I schedule those things as well. So this person has a really routine schedule and we could go ahead and click on this and click edit and we can say repeat daily and then that will repeat every single day into the future. Okay, so I filled in a bunch of stuff here and I wanted to show you how to uh, repeat on weekdays, which um, let's do it from here so we don't waste the ones we already did. So there, now every weekday that will happen. Like I have my blocks for work and I don't schedule very specifically things in my day job uh, work schedule because it just doesn't make a lot of sense to do that for me because a lot of it is things that just come up. It's a lot of customer service, so it's just constantly doing whatever needs done at any given moment. Where my freelance work's a lot more scheduled and it's a lot more, I'm gonna do this from this time to this time, I'm gonna do this from this time to this time, things pop up. But like I said, it's super easy to just move things around and say, I don't want any family time tonight. I'm gonna do it tomorrow night or whatever it is. You know, Even within your day job, you can schedule different little things like check email, um, maybe we have department head meeting. After lunch, we're gonna do two hours and try to finish that report. I would color code these to maybe say that's urgent. That's something that just repeats constantly. And I'll say, again, go in and just click repeat weekly on Tuesdays and that's gonna repeat forever. Now, what I find really useful to help my productivity is looking at, okay, I said that I was gonna give myself an hour to film this video, and I'm within that time frame. But what happens all the time is, you know, things take longer than you expect them to, like these posters, which I misspelled, but these posters took longer than I expected to. I couldn't work on this one video as long as I wanted to because I didn't have all the things that I needed for it. This is just super, super flexible. It's absolutely the most flexible productivity tool that I have found. And it allows you to mix your personal life and your business life both together in a way that you can actually manage both of those things. And that is, that's incredibly important in today's world where we're all doing side gigs and trying to manage our lives. Uh, and this is kind of the way that I found to not get too burnt out and to make sure I'm still scheduling my lunch my morning routine, my evening routine, I'm even scheduling time with friends, with my girlfriend, and this just works super, super well. Let me know down in the comments if you have any specific questions about how to do anything within the Google calendars. Um, like I said, you can download the app on the phone and it works just as well, and it's cool because I can pop up my phone at any given time and say, oh, I can or can't do this thing, so that I've pretty much completely removed double scheduling myself. Sometimes I'll still forget to put something in my calendar and that becomes an issue, but um, as long as you remember to pull up your calendar, it's always with you if you have your phone. So the Google Calendar thing just works incredibly well. Um, and like I said, this is just a follow-up video from the Todoist video that I made about a year ago because I stopped using Todoist completely. So I have nothing that I'm paying for. Google's all free. Google does have its own like task thing called Google Tasks. I've tried using that and it literally just, everything works so well to do it this way. So again, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and 
Uh, I'll hope to do more videos like this, maybe a little more planned. This was a little off the cuff. And I'll see you in another video. I promise it won't be uh, like two months or three months or six months before I post another one. I'm gonna try to post more often because I really like doing these and it helps me keep my editing ability sharp between uh, other editing projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.